good daily habits make a huge difference in your wellness in this video i'm talking about 10 habits that i adopted that changed my life a whole lot hello guys welcome to my channel it's fitness freak here bringing you awesome wellness and fitness videos to help you live your best life right now i developed this habit about two years ago and up until then i was like a procrastination guru my work would always pile up and then i'll not start feeling overwhelmed then i'll hate myself for procrastinating and then start the entire cycle again it wasn't a nice time in my life to be honest that's why i'm sharing these habits that have made a huge impact on my life and are still working for me up until now the secret to having a good day actually begins from the previous day so the night before i make sure i write out a to-do list of the things that i need to achieve the next day i tag them my most important tasks mits and i list them out and i don't just stop at listing them out i actually allocate duration for each task so let's say i want to edit a youtube video i might say two hours and then after i impute two hours in the duration section i'll then go on to write the time i want to do that activity for so if i want to start at 9 a.m i'll typically say okay 9 a.m to 11 a.m i do that for each and every task just so that i'm able to stay accountable to myself and when i'm slacking i know that okay i need to speed things up or i know i need to readjust my tasks most times i find that once I write things down, I actually get them done. Another activity I started doing the night before is actually picking out the clothes for the next day. Funny enough, I took this up a notch by picking out my clothes for the entire week on the weekend before. I actually take note of what I want to wear on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, bring them all out and the ones that need to be ironed, I iron them out and arrange them according to each day from left to right. I never knew this time in my life will actually come when I'll be able to bring out my clothes a whole week before the time. This is the the organizational hack of the century for anybody that works a nine to five job i know it may be like who didn't know that before to some people but i went on for many years in my life struggling in the morning to try and just move through my clothes and say okay what do i wear when i was actually already almost running late to work making myself adopt this habit was actually a very big deal for me and i've never regretted it ever since and the next thing i do in terms of prepping the night before is actually packing my lunch so i realized that in the mornings if i have to pack my lunch and probably maybe look for clothes to wear I find that some 10 15 20 minutes will just go in the morning without knowing where it went to but it's easier to actually take just 10 minutes the night before to pack your lunch put it in the fridge so that on your way out you can just grab it and be going to work so the next habit that changes my life is the morning i wake up first of all i don't use a blaring alarm that just makes me jump up from my sleep i use this bedtime alarm app on iphone that actually wakes you up from your subconscious with a soothing tone it just goes so low and then it's ascending gently and then from your subconscious you can actually feel yourself waking up gradually i don't subscribe to all these blaring alarms that just make you jump up that's not a good way to start your day at all so what i do is once the alarm begins to ring i wake up turn it off and i don't go back to bed i literally just get up say my prayers tidy my bed and start my day the impact of lying in bed 15 20 30 minutes after your alarm goes off is actually really bad and much worse than you just standing up to get on with your day worst thing that will happen if you stand up and get on with your day is that you have maybe 5 10 15 20 30 minutes ahead of you and then you are prepared and ready on time another habit is that i started drinking half a liter of water immediately after i wake up and i realized that on days i drink water i'm actually more full of energy throughout the day research actually showed that we are dehydrated all through the night and in the morning our body is yearning to drink water so giving your body that drink of water at first actually helps you have that burst of energy that can take you through your entire day while you're staying hydrated and of course when you eat a good breakfast lunch and dinner i start slicing up cucumbers and infusing it in my water and keeping it in the fridge overnight to drink the next morning this is a way of just naturally detoxifying my body and giving my body the 
busting vitamins and minerals that are in cucumber at the same time hydrating myself the next habit i adopted that has been a lifesaver is not going through my phone the first hour after i wake up if you sent me a message the night before i'm sorry but i might not see it until two hours after i wake up it helps me focus on the tasks ahead and helps me mentally get prepared for my day and makes the day more productive for me rather than getting carried away with things that are on my phone and maybe things that are out of my reach and things I don't have control over at that particular time. In fact, this 2020, I owe my successes and my growth on my YouTube channel to this singular habit. That is writing out my goals every single day. So my morning routine goes like this. After I wake, I pray. Immediately after I pray, I write down my goals. After I read this book, Goals by Baron Tracy, which I actually mentioned in this video, my life was never the same. I read the book the first time and I had to read it a second time just so that I could actually practice some of the action points that are in that book. The book says that the human mind is like a compass and then when you write your goals consciously, it feeds your subconscious mind and naturally you will just gravitate towards opportunities and areas of your life where your goals can be achieved. Knowing these things at the back of my head, even if I'm not actively thinking about the goals in the course of my day, I tend to recognize opportunities that could actually help me in achieving my goals it has been amazing i think you should try it when i started the year my goals included running in lagos city marathon which of course i already did from this video that i shared here another goal involved hosting a successful event at social media week which i already did in this video as you can see and then as the year unfolds i'm getting closer and closer to all the other goals and as each goal is achieved i move it out and then add another goal so it's just like you find out that your life is a constant motion and gravitating you towards achieving each of your set goals another habit i adopted is using my calendar more effectively so before now i would typically just write a to-do list on maybe my notebook but what i found out is somehow i never go back to that note and those things just end up staying there and never getting attended to so what i started doing after taking a time management fundamental course on linda.com by dave crenshaw i realized that using calendar is actually a way to stay most organized i plan myself in quarters at the beginning of this year i planned myself for january february march i knew the weeks i was going to do my shoots i knew the weeks i was going to edit my videos because i shoot my videos in batches for the second quarter of this year i planned myself for april may and june so in this three months period i knew when i was going to do each and every batch shoot and for each batch shoot i shoot between three to five videos so it just helped me stay organized and helped me actually see that there is more time than i can handle because when you look at your calendar you realize that oh in as much as i feel like i need to do some things now there's so much to do there's so little time if i spread my tasks over a period of a quarter i'm more likely to get them done than to just fix everything for one particular day and get overwhelmed and i'm not able to achieve it and then i get sad when i have appointments maybe i have a wedding to attend and the wedding is going to be in six months i can easily put it on my calendar and set a reminder for my calendar to remind me maybe one week before the time or probably one month before the time so using my calendar has just been a lifesaver that is how i've been able to stay consistent with uploading videos on my youtube channel while also maintaining a full-time eight to five job it hasn't been easy guys but we thank god for growth the next habit that i adopted is actually sleeping better in the past i used to sleep with the lights on i used to have a very erratic sleeping pattern but recently i realized that there are certain conditions that i need to sleep under for me to actually maximize my sleep effectively i have a whole video on how to sleep better and tips to make the most of my sleep right here so you can do well to check it out after watching this video the last habit i adopted that has really done me so well is practicing yoga every week life can be noisy the world is a very noisy place there is always something to be angry about there is always something to just get agitated over but the truth is that being able to take out time just to be in your space to just look inward and think about what really matters which is your breath which is you having life which is you being alive and strong and healthy it's like self-care for me really really calms my mind and just makes me feel like i'm in control of myself right so i feel like i've been rambling and rambling but i just want to chip this in guys remember habits take time to form and there is really no need for you to overwhelm yourself take a single step 
step just towards changing one aspect of your life that you know would serve you well you don't need to try all the changes at once if you've read this book slight edge by jeff olsen you understand that little actions taken repeatedly over time daily actually lead to big results so just make the small changes and try to be consistent with it even if something happens life happens and then you are not able to be consistent once you get yourself back continue from where you stop when making lifestyle changes it's not about perfection it's just about little wins that you achieve every now and then that just makes you feel that you're making progress towards a bigger goal are there any habits that you adopted lately that actually works for you and you've been enjoying please share them in the comment section let's talk about it and see how we can exchange habits and i'll see you in the next video bye